Welcome to the nine month check-in with Mr. Rowan Pratt, sales director extraordinaire, leader of uh, channel professionals across our business. Um, it's been a few months now since you joined us. Yep. Thought we'd uh, have a quick check-in, see what you're thinking, give us a bit of a scorecard, give us a bit of feedback. Before we do that though, we need to get to know you, we need to get to know more about uh, the, the legend that is, is Rowan. So some quick fire questions. Um, dogs or cats? Dogs. Uh, Android or iOS? iOS. <laughs> iOS. <laughs> Android. <laughs> Sweet or savoury? Savoury. Okay. Uh, Favourite film? Um, Wolf of Wall Street. Sorry. Dog. <laughs> That's a winner for me. Okay. Last book you read? Uh, Atomic Habits by James somebody. Okay. What is top of your Spotify playlist and be honest? Being honest. Um, in terms of recently played and most played, it would be uh, Underworld, Born Slippy, to take me back to my uni days. Nice. Bit of insight in there, uh, into you there. But Mental, now, really, on <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, but now, maybe a bit more of a conversation about how you found it. So, nine months in, what are your kind of in initial observations about working with the team at Pragma and EnableX and uh, yeah, more broadly across the business, Candio and, uh, and Techland? Yeah, I mean, I think it's... Um, it's a phenomenal business um, and with some really, I think, nice, genuine people with an amazing culture that's been cultivated in this business for over you know, over 10 years now as we've celebrated our birthday. Um, it's been a, a refreshing um, approach to the channel, refreshing approach to how we conduct business, how we do things um, for, for our customers. And I think when you look at that, why a variety of choice that we've got for our partners to be able to take whether that's the candio product the pragma product, and the techland side of the business um just seeing that positive engagement both from our customers and from our team about wanting to do more and and mm. <laughs> and, and, and sell more and I, I think it's um a real credit to the team i feel like you know as a as a group enable x and as it's different brands pragma techland and candio you know we're not as well known as probably what we should be. Yeah. Um, I think we've got some really excellent products, and I think you know, as, as a company, it's great how much belief in our partner, our partners have in the products that they take out to market to trust to deliver the right solutions for their customers. We just need we you know, we need to believe in more and shout a little bit more from the rooftops. Yeah. But I think that's what's made this business and the channel so successful is we're quite modest <laughs> about what we are. Um, yeah. Just want yeah, we just need to shout a bit, little bit louder. Um, but it's an excellent set of products, an excellent set of people, um, and refreshing to hear you know such amazing feedback from our customers as to you know what we've got and um, how they are really loving what we do. Oh, that, that's fantastic to hear, and it's obviously been great having you on board. When you look at the different businesses, when you think of, say, uh, uh, the Pragma business and the work that Eric's and LG are doing, what are the standout kind of product messages that you'd uh, you'd highlight in your first few months of things that you think are either coming up or being delivered that are that are interesting? Yeah, I mean, I think you know, if, if I take it and strip it back, the, the bit that amazes me is just sort of like the heritage that Eric's and LG have got. And so let, let's not, we can look ahead, but let's look actually where we've been and where that business has been. So to have 15 million users on a platform, you know, to come from that heritage from a PBX and to have brought so many of those features over into cloud, and where, you know, just simple things, yeah, whether it's door entry or night mode or, um, you know, being able to have a wonderful deck solution to service um, yeah. our customers. You know, the heritage that they've got is phenomenal. And then you look at their revolution and the way in which it's developing. So, you know, the Ericsson LG hardware, Ericsson LG end-to-end -end with its analytics product that's launched, or, you know, the next version's launched since I've been here. Uh, we've just launched the PCI with our partners at Atmoso, yeah. um, which, you know, um, again, is a bit of a differentiator because it's end-to-end -end in terms of uh, fully encrypted as part of our platform. Um, Anywhere, so our Apex Anywhere product is yep. um, ready to go out this month. So true FMC converged, working with Tango Networks and the, the leading um, network in the UK, EE. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm really off the shopping list of what I wanted <laughs> uh, when I first started, really. So it, when you look at where we've been, what we've got coming up, and to have just launched all of that stuff, I think it's a real differentiator for our channel. Yeah. Um, completely. So really excited about what we've got coming up. 
Uh, absolutely. Same question from a, a Techland point of view, working with the Ribbon team, they've obviously got some phenomenal products really driving into Teams, Zoom, Cisco, WebEx, etc. What are you seeing out of them? What are you excited by in that part of the business? Yeah, I think I, with, with the Techland side of things, um, I just see that whole, like, you know, you've just reeled off four absolutely wonderful you know, strategic um, partnerships that they've mm. developed and integrated with. You know, if you're to, you know, again, it's another shopping list or wish list, Microsoft Teams, Google Voice, um, Cisco WebEx and obviously um, Microsoft, um, sorry, Zoom. Do, yeah. So it, it's phenomenal. So getting that, it, it, and where I'm excited is about, I think uh, the great partners we work with, the MSPs, the SIs now, they've got that and they make our uh, Techland proposition key to the product that they want to deliver. Yeah. The next step with the guys of Ribbon is to being able to take that now and being able to make it, you know, what. Pragma's done as a business, which is simplify maybe complex solutions yeah. and make it easy to deliver. So that is the next really exciting step with um, with the guys at Techland uh, and Ribbon. Um, and then we've got, if yeah, to, from a Candio perspective, um, we're just going through that iteration of three different products: web optimizer, web listings, and we've just launched Safe Web over yeah. the course of the last three months. Um, which is such a fantastic topical tool, tool in terms of being able to uh, measure dark web activity yeah. um, and with you know, the increase in cyber security threat that's out there in the market at such a, a low cost to be able to do that um, on a per per um, URL yeah. or domain. You know, it's a, a great product that's having some really great traction and we just go back to your first one, we just need to do more and shout about how, how good it is with, but without wanting to go mental and saturate the market yeah. at the same time. It is about getting the message out there, isn't it? Because there's some phenomenal products and, and stuff coming through. If you were to put yourself, you know, you've, you've been there as a, as a sales director in a reseller. If you were to put yourself back in that position, you were looking at the market at the moment, what kind of what advice would you give to people who are really looking to drive their business, drive their their their, their business forward, their reseller business forward? Yeah, well, it's, I mean, yeah. other than partner with us. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a given. I'd like to think um, if you're watching this, please partner with us. Um, I, I like think, and subscribe. Yeah, uh, <laughs> not me or Will, just plug my please or enable X. Um, I think the, it's that balance about how do I generate that upfront revenue? Yeah. In order to generate the new business and make sure that I'm you know, building my cash flow and generating what needs to drive my business. But at the same time, you know, making sure, you know, spinning the plates. So I need to do that and I can do that with a Pragma Ericsson LG proposition, but we all need to be moving more towards that MRR model and looking at in the future as to how do I, you know, winning business is blooming hard work, right? Yeah. Retaining yeah. it is yeah. even harder and the cost of sale and the cost of acquisition is so high. So looking and making sure the solution that you are selling at that right point at, at the time is the right solution for the customer but then building up the value add propositions to make sure that you're you're going to make them sticky and at the same time making them sticky you're going to increase your monthly recurring revenues yeah we've listed a load of products there whether yeah. it's the uh, fmc solution with ipex anywhere whether it's analytics call recording pci call recording yeah yeah, yeah. um Adding in the the Candio side of things, and yeah. then if you can, if you've got a bigger estate and you need to look at that team Zoom, Google Voice, or Cisco WebEx deployment, then you can do that there. But you know, we've seen increasingly customers, you know, they're only going to look to move based on you're not providing them something that they don't have. Yeah. So having a, a suite and a partnership with a company that has plenty of those things that customers need or what and want you're more likely to keep them over the course of the long term of the, the contract. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've touched on Ericsson LG and the partnership we've got with them. You're coming up for your um, first, uh, we call it GPC Global Partner Conference. Yes. Which is gonna be in Seoul. How are you feeling? Nervous, looking forward to the food? <laughs> fired up? <laughs> Nervous, fired up. Um, I think I will be, given the time difference um, <laughs> of 12 hours, I think I will be, uh, I'll be buzzing for certain parts of it and probably <laughs> yeah. uh, wanting a power nap for the other parts, but I'm really excited to go out, you know, to, to be invited by our partners and to be able to either, you know, in Aries and LG and to take our partners with us as well. Yeah. It'll be a fantastic experience for all of us to, to be able to have that showcase to see what is coming up, what's exciting, what's new and how you know the impact that we're having in driving Eric's LG, yeah. sharing that, yeah. and also you know how they can help us now and our partners and our channel 
to drive even more growth over the course of the next years to come. So no, yeah, yeah. Uh, looking forward to the food. Hell no, uh, from what you've told me, Will. Then um, oh, I've, I've only told you it's amazing. Yeah. You're, you're listening to Tim. Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Korean food's great. Yeah, ro- everything that's raw. So you know, maybe <laughs> on the plus side, I'll lose a bit of weight, but make up with it in alcohol. So, uh, which is uh, yeah, obviously going to be less than usual. <laughs> so, so yeah, it sounds like uh, yeah, we're we're over in uh, Seoul in March. You were over with Ribbon and uh, Techland customers in Munich for the uh, for the beer festival. Yes. So you're, you're kind of getting around the globe a bit. Are you able to share any insight yet on where we might be going on the next incentive trip? Well, well, subject to your sign off. <laughs> we are uh, uh, we're hoping in November to be able to take our partners to South Africa is uh, is part of the plan. So. Um, I am playing around with that budget um, that uh, you've left, but I think that'd be an amazing trip to be able to take our partners, uh, both from uh, across the Enable X group, yeah. not just Pragma, um, to, to South Africa. So we're looking at um, Joburg and um, Safari uh, for three days. So we think that that would be an amazing trip for our part- uh, partners. And I think it's about giving our partners those uh, once in a lifetime sort of opportunities. We, we did the trip to Iceland um, last year in Reykjavik and it was, so incredibly well received uh, by our partner community that we just want to do something that's uh, another lifetime experience. I've, yeah. uh, I've not got anything, any ideas for next year, but I'm sure we'll come up with we'll, one we'll over a few beers and that'll be all right. And it, it, yeah, the, the trips that we do and, and the activities we're talking about all come back to relationship. And I think that's at the core of everything we do with Ericsson LG. You know, they're, 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 we've had a phenomenal relationship with them and continue to do so. When you, you think about Ericsson LG and, and their kind of heritage and their kind of approach around innovation, what have been your observations in their, their approach to the market? Um, I think they are, we're working with them in terms of a partnership, it, it's being, the, being able to have conversations with them and actually share thoughts, share ideas and, yeah. and share where the market is actually going. And they've been so receptive and, and you know, fleet of foot really in comparison Absolutely. to you know a lot of a, a lot of the vendors out there that you know we've we've got i don't think and the good thing is is the relationship goes on so when for you know for so long that we're not coming with you know, wishy-washy ideas it's got substance it's got a business case to it yeah so i think you know sometimes with the partnership you can keep asking keep asking yeah, yeah. and you'll go for a one in ten approach obviously we know that partnership is so well developed that when we ask, they listen. They look to do their absolute utmost to de- to deliver that. Yeah. And I think it, they're being incredibly innovative. Um, stuff that we're doing on the API side of things is incredibly exciting. Yeah. Um, and that that's sort of our, our next stage. Some of the commercial offerings that we're working towards at the moment. Yeah. You know, it's really intrinsic, and I just think it's refreshing to to be able to have that partnership with such senior people at Ericsson LG. Um, and uh, yeah, they listen, take it on board, and want to work in a mutual goal. Yeah, you know, to deliver it, and it's phenomenal when you think you know they are, they're a global entity. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, this little island, um, we we are the leading cloud um, platform in the whole globally for Ericsson LG. So yeah. yeah, they they listen. It's a fantastic partnership in terms of innovation. Excellent. Um, just changing it up slightly, you've um, obviously been around the block a bit, you've been out there as sales director, you've, you, you've, you've worked in channel for a long time, you've seen both sides of the fence. If you think of a kind of aspiring young salesperson who's maybe early 20s, just joined a reseller business, they're looking to drive their career onwards and, and, and want to have a great career trajectory, what words of advice would you give them? Well, around the block seems a bit harsh first and foremost, but yeah, <laughs> I've... Uh, I think what was it comms dealer described you as in the uh, industry veteran was it? Or, yeah yeah, that, or, yeah which sounded like old bloke yeah, yeah. Me, yeah so uh, i'm obviously <laughs> aging so um, what advice i think it's about um when you're stepping on that ladder it's about finding the, the right company and, the, and where they're at at the right the, the cycle in terms of their innovation and their growth yeah um and make it because i think you know being part of that growth is really exciting so i think you know, the right company, the right culture, and the right, st- and, and they're at the right stage of growth. Yeah. You know, the, um, and, and once you're at that stage, you can hit it and you can certainly, you can establish a reputation for yourself yeah. that be- can become, um, if you work hard, you build the right relationships that can become 
um, you know, your your legacy yeah. um, for and, and build a really solid career on. So yeah, the right time, right company, right period of growth. And uh, great news is we're, we're at that right period of growth now and the, the next trajectory. Absolutely, and there's some great yeah, yeah, younger people coming through in the sales team and um, yeah, a variety of people coming through in the sales team are doing a phenomenal job at the moment and uh, it's great to see that and the relationships are able to form with our resellers. No, real, real good team. Yeah, absolutely. So obviously, as you know, my, uh, my deep knowledge of the game of football is one of my standout features. No, I can't even black this. I know absolutely nothing about football and I'm well, it's true. renowned for having zero football knowledge. But I do like a football question and occasionally I'll even drift into a bit of a football analogy with no knowledge whatsoever. If you were to describe uh, Enable X and the, and the team here as a team, who would it be? Who would be your, your team that you'd choose to, uh, to describe us? I mean, well, it can't be Man City because um, we're, uh, we're we're definitely not under any uh, stipulations or Even investigations. Even I heard about their problems. Yeah. Um, so that's good news. Um, new, not Newcastle United, although that'd be great. But we we don't have any uh, rich backers, so I'd probably go for it. Has to be a team at least in blue and white. So um, it, it'd have to be Brighton, and given our location, just in the sense of you know, we are you know that unknown, but creeping up there and starting to. Uh, Surprise a few people, yeah. um, and uh, and and doing it in a in an attractive way of playing football, really. So, I'd probably go for the for for Brighton um, as a Sheffield Wednesday fan. Hurts for me not to say that, but hopefully, maybe at some point we can have this conversation again, and I'll just be able to say Sheffield Wednesday will. But you know, I'm, I'm planning on obviously being here a long time. Are they in the for, Premiership or no, 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 League One? Um, so um, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, Brighton. <laughs> Brighton. Well, that's a perfect answer for my two sons who are massive Brighton supporters, oh, well. so uh, they'll be happy. Genuinely not scripted, so yeah. it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers, really good well. to uh, chat, chat through that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.